good. Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing. It's October 9th and uh, boat's all put away. And I'm, do, I'm continuing my theme of greatest hits or MVP videos. And the first one is I talked about using scent, something I used a lot in 2021. Anyways, uh, this, video's, uh, this video is pretty cool actually. This is uh, my top, uh, you know, I'm going to call it my top six meat rigs. I think I've probably got seven here though. And I'm going to start out by really showing you guys um, three larger paddles, so three kingfishers. Then I'm going to talk about my go-to 11-inch uh, paddle. And then I'll shift into some of the new hotfish 10-inch. And then finally at the end, I'm going to cover off one of my go-to 8-inch um, uh, Pro Trolls. But actually that same pattern I used on a hotfish as well. And it was really, really good. So anyways, if you like these videos and you like my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Helps me out a great deal as an amateur YouTube content producer. I'm about 15, 20 uh, subscribers away from 1,000. Really want to hit that milestone and your help can make it happen. So thank you very, very much. So, let's start off with uh, probably, I'd say, my number one go-to rig that go would go out every single morning uh, on the King's Landing Sport Fishing Tierra. And it's this one right here. And it doesn't look like much when I show you this side. Because this is a, this is a Kingfisher, Oki Kingfisher, glow, go, glow blade with clear crush. But, the back side of this, it's UV slick. It's got chartreuse and green dots, black stripe. This paddle was go-to. The UV is actually transparent, so the glow will glow right through in the morning. It's got some, uh, it's got some custom Twinkie flies that are glow and UV. And I actually have this mated with a Reese Davis uh, anchovy teaser head. This by far my number one rig on the boat. Uh, this is actually one of my customs. Uh, for those of you, before you ask, I will be making more of this this winter. I've supplied a lot of guys on the North Shore with this paddle. It is a go-to paddle for many people. Um, I've got different versions of it on a white blade, on a glow blade, and on a, uh, a clear blade when I have those. Um, I've also made this in a hot fish. works well in a hot fish as well. It is, it is a go-to pattern. Actually, I think I've got an 11 inch and it works well in that too. This pattern goes in the water. I love it because it glows like crazy. I can throw it down first in the morning, but as the sun comes up, it's got that UV slick, and it's just it just puts fish in the boat. I would often run this paddle 100 feet plus down with great success. So, next kingfisher. This one's a little simple. This is your standard uh, Oki. Uh, I think it's a green Casper. Um, so it's you know got a glow stripe on the front, on the back. It's got your silver holographic. And I've got this made with a clean, as you can see, it's a clean uh, rig, no Twinkie flies, green hot fish bait head, crushed glow on both sides with green and black dots, one of my custom bait heads. Again, great rig. This was probably not one I'd put down first thing in the morning. I'd probably put this one down as the sun started to come up. Uh, this, would be, this would be a rig I'd put in the water. And I would often, often leave this one out the whole trip. So as I was doing like a 5.30 till, um, you know, 5.30 till 11.30, um, trip, um, it would stay. It would stay out, and uh, probably around eight, eight thirty, and it stay out the rest of the trip, and usually take the number of fish. Another, another go-to, and this is actually uh, I don't know where I got this one from, but it works really, really well. Uh, this is actually a Pro Troll fish and chips. So it's crushed glow on the on the one side with green dots, on the back side crushed glow as well. It's only partially covered because this one has the fin and the chip. Uh, these things pull like crazy, uh, but uh, you know this one. This one works uh, from a Twinkie fly perspective. This fly's got some glow. It's got some green. It's got some UV. And again, it's just this is real simple. It's a it's a uh, hot fish green uh, bait head with crushed glow. Um, another great rig. This one again, I would put out first thing in the morning. So if I was running, uh, you know, both riggers with meat, often it'd be this one and that first one that'd be out. You know, next I'm going to go to my go-to 11-inch. What I would say, I've shown you three paddles so far. Uh, don't worry if you don't have the exact same paddle. I'm just showing you the themes and the colors that worked really well for me. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll have another paddle that's very similar, throw it out, and it works equally as well. Like, it's, it's the colors and the patterns that really, I find, do a, do a number. So this is my go-to 11-inch. This is like a Lake Ontario staple. This is a, this is a white lightning. So this is where you've got the lightning on the front, 
and then you've got Crush Glow on the back. Another rig that I would throw it in the morning. This particular one, actually, though, it's a uh, it's clean with a with a Glow anchovy head again. Um, what's neat about this rig? Something I was playing around with this year. This is just a regular 11-inch paddle, but as you can see here, and I'm not for closer to closer to the camera here. It has an adjustable fin, so you can actually turn this fin and tune it, these double fins, and uh, you can tune the action of the roll. This is something I've actually been producing myself, and I've been playing around this year, and I, and I really like the ability to kind of go from a tight roll to a, a wider roll by, by just spinning that fin. Next thing, I talk about the hot fish. Uh, hot fish, uh, you know, are a new paddle, uh, you know, from a Canadian company. They're a 10-inch paddle, they're, they are a fish shape. These things absolutely rock. So the first one I'm going to show you is a factory, you know, called Standard Hotfish uh, Paddle. And then the next one is one of my customs. So this one right here, Go To Morning. This was often on my uh, my Deep Mag Diver. It's a 10-inch Hotfish. Glow Blade. He's got his pearl on there. Black dots with crush, uh, crush tape over top. I've got it mated with a, a black uh, carbon, uh, carbon 14 bait head, one of my customs. It's got carbon fiber on the front with a glow eye, and it's got uh, crushed glow in the back. And then for Twinkies on this one, I'm actually using uh, little squids, little silicone squids, glows. Um, this was a great rig for me because it's a lot of glow. Throw this out first thing in the morning on that deep, on that deep diver with good success. Next hot fish, this is one of my customs. It's a custom black IP hot fish, uh, a glow blade. Uh, crush UV tape, green dots, black dots, um, same on both sides. Uh, the bait head is a hot fish, uh, green transparent, crush glow on both sides. With uh, this one's got a green eye, and uh, the 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 Twinkie flies, they're custom Twinkie flies that I, I whipped up, green, black, and glow. So lot, lot, green, black, and glow. That's the themes here. But you got the UV UV tape, and then you've got the green uh, green UV bait head. And I like the UV because I can put this rig out again first thing in the morning because it is a lot of glow. But I can just leave it out there uh, pretty much all day and uh, and take fish on this particular rig. Then lastly, this is an 8-inch Pro Troll, but I've, I've actually made this pattern on an 11-inch. I've made this on a Hot Fish and I made this on a Kingfisher and it works in all of them. Um, this uh, this looks like your standard you know, uh, you know know UV Frog, but it's got a difference. So this is like a UV frog on the front, but on the back, it's lightning. So I call this the UV lightning frog. Um, you know, from a Twinkie fly perspective, it's green and glow Twinkie flies. And I've got one of I've got one of Hot Fish's, uh, you know, factory painted uh, bait heads here. So I think this is just their glow frog. You know, it's a glow bait head, black dots, green and chartreuse. Uh, this rig was really really great. When I was running meat on the high diver, I would actually run this. So I like to run a smaller paddle. Um, as I'm getting uh, closer to the service surface, so often this was on that you know 99, 120, 140 high diver was running an eight inch paddle, and uh, it was often this particular one right here. So hopefully you found this video useful. Like I said, this is about six or seven of my, uh, what were my go to or best rigs for the 2021 season. Um, you'll see lots of glow, lots of greens. You know, often we joke around if it doesn't glow, it doesn't go. Um, but those were some of my uh, my big hitters fishing out of Toronto, Ontario on Lake Ontario uh, out of Bluffers Park Marina. Took a lot of fish. Don't get me wrong. I got lots of more different lots of different uh, paddles and different rigs on the boat. But those are the go-to's that I found were probably out at least 65-70% of the time and uh, and taking fish. So wanted to share that with you. Uh, hopefully that helps you. I would say as I think about some of those go-to's, uh, they were go-to's last year as well. So just ongoing repeat uh, uh, repeat offenders or repeat repeat performers, you should say. But uh, great, great paddle. So, anyways, hope you like this video and hope you like this series of videos. Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button. It helps you out a great deal. And uh, it's gonna be a long winter, but I'll try and keep videos coming. Uh, good luck, stay safe, folks, and uh, can't wait for 2022. See you later. Bye.